Hi, it's me again, and Clacton's in the paper. Again, do you remember last week we talked about which magazine's grot list of seaside resorts, and Clacton came second. And I can announce now that Clacton's going to... I said I was going to make a travel video for each one of them, and I've just been working out a format of how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to do, and Clacton's going to be the first one. And what I'd like to do is uh, have a local person hopefully meet a local person in each one and show me around i'm going to go to the top rated attraction the lowest rated attraction I'm going to see the main sites and then i'm going to come up with a scoring system and it's going to be going to be quite fun i think and the person that's going to show me around the clacton one and be in the video with me have a guess well obviously my mum she's lived in clacton pretty much all her life she's the perfect person to show me around isn't she but i don't know where they're getting all these stories from I like Clacton. I like seaside resorts. And when I see a headline like this, I'm like, there's a lot of businesses there that thrive during the season. They rely on the seasonal money of tourism to see themselves through the winter, to pay their bills, to pay their mortgages, to pay their rent, to live their lives, to feed their kids. The headlines like this don't help. They don't help anybody, do they? Look. Once thriving UK seaside towns downfall as yobs high on hippie crack take over streets. Seeing a lot of Clacton and Jaywick based headlines lately, I'm starting to think that the Daily Star or the Sun watch my videos and don't like me or something because they keep putting it in. And this is just stories of loads of antisocial behaviour and loads of drug abuse in Clacton. Oh, I'm sorry, I have seen less drug abuse. You do see it, of course you do. You see it everywhere. There's no town, city, whatever in the country that can completely evade drug abuse now, is there? I see a lot less of it in Clacton than I've seen in other places I've been to. Even more, even other, you know, seaside resorts, like South End. Like, you go in the public loos in South End, and there's, like, proper syringe and sharps disposal areas and stuff like that, and you can go and pick up syringes down the road. Not in Clacton, you can't. Last year, the town saw a whopping 646 arson attacks, 296 shoplifting incidents, and 3,221 violent and sexual offences, according to Crime Rate UK. All right, let's have a look at your Crime Rate UK. So, explore crime rates in your area. So, what shall we do? Let's do... Uh, Brighton is like the premier, one of the premier ones in the country, isn't it? So let's have a look at Brighton and we'll see about that, shall we? So in 2022, there was 9,293 violent and sexual offences in Brighton, which is three times what it was in Clayton. Oh, it's three times the size, granted. And it's classed as the most dangerous city in East Sussex, 30% higher then regional crime rate. All right, let's have a look at Clacton again then. Let's have a look at what I actually say. Oh, 65% higher regional crime rate. All right. But is it worse than anywhere? I'm going to put in where I live. I'm not going to tell you where I live. I'm interested now. I fail, fail to believe that. 17% national crime, higher than national crime. Who's coming up with these figures? Who? And are the ones that are scoring low the tiny little towns? And they're knackering the national average for everybody and then bringing us headlines like this. Is that what's happening? Another local kebab shop employee, Alex, said she doesn't feel safe walking home alone at the end of her shifts thanks to frequent fighting, especially at weekends. So you work in a kebab shop, so you're probably leaving, I would imagine, late, one, two in the morning. You, you shouldn't be walking home alone in any town in the country at 1, 2 in the morning. Really? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And it just goes on and on. They're just picking. No good stories. Why am to positivity? That's why I want to do these videos, right? My videos on these seaside towns is going to be all positive. I'm not going to neg it out. I'm going to tell you the truth. But uh, uh, it just drives me mad. Go to your seaside towns. The more people that go and enjoy them, the better and safer safer they will become because more money will be going into them. And they're wonderful, wonderful places to visit. 
and the people there with businesses rely on people like you to go and spend a couple of quid on a donut or a pint of beer or go on the rides. Enjoy yourself. You'll have a good time. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? You never see that many positive headlines about the traditional proper pucker seaside resorts, Clacton, Southend, uh, Skegness, Blackpool, all of that. Do you? All you hear is this guff. And I don't like it. And that's why I'm really looking forward to making this video. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to have a nice nice time away. A few British seaside resorts. Going to eat some donuts, eat some chips, a couple of beers. I might spend the night in a couple of them. I cannot wait. It's going to be a great holiday. It's going to be my holiday this year as well. Because I haven't got that much time off work. No. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And that way, you won't miss me going to these places and seeing what they are actually like. If I go there and I feel unsafe and I think it is rough, I will tell you, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but I don't want it to be about that. I want it to be about enjoying yourself there. But if genuinely I feel unsafe and I don't think people should go, I will. I will tell you. I don't know. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in those videos soon when I... Ta-da.